Hey, just putting this more there. Some stuff here, all this stuff around here. Getting ready for a couple uh, winter campouts, but uh, this is a box opening or package opening. It's actually from uh, Timu. I've uh, been trying them out. I've been buying some stuff there. Give it a try. It's got some good stuff. So let's check this out. This particular one. I've gotten several things from them. And uh, this is cool. Um, old style striker. Not bad. Feels good. Looks good. Not bad at all. Price was good. Pretty cool, huh? Look at that. <coughs> Excuse me. Like that. Very interesting. Looks like uh, these are my tea bags because I have a lot of loose tea and I drink a lot of tea. I think you know that. I open this up with my uh, Uncle Henry pocket knife. Works pretty good. Actually, uh, check it right here. I can throw a spark with this too. Not bad. But anyway, so uh, yeah, looks like a natural color uh, tea bag, which is nice. I think there's a hundred in here. <clears throat> what I found out what they do is they, they ship it from China and they ship it to New Jersey and then they process it there. Do get some American workers involved in there, of course, but uh, yeah, looks like good quality natural uh, tea bag. Might as well take a couple out and take them upstairs. I got some more stuff to fill. <clears throat> Put this in my little, my little teapot. Very nice. And, uh, luckily, we could have left them in here, but uh, so I'm taking them upstairs anyway, so pretty happy with that so far. And uh, <clears throat> the next items, Two different items here is uh, right here. Now I make my own cooks. Uh, I'm, a lot, I'm new at it. I'm not new at it, but not good at it. But uh, a little hard digging the, the center out, with trying to get the correct piece of wood. So um, yeah. So this is pretty cool. Oops. The capacity is not bad. That bad got a little little tie here. It's not leather, but it's nice. Feels real good. Decent capacity. I think it's about eight ounces, I think. <clears throat> so it's a cup. And uh not too bad. Not too bad at all. And uh yeah, I like it. And um <clears throat> I did have an Uber leaving one for a couple of years. I gave that to my son. And traditionally, it's nice to give a cook to somebody. You don't sell it. You don't put it on a trade blanket, which I will have trade goods. But uh, so I'll probably give this to someone. And uh, even though I didn't make it, I have some that I made. And uh, those will go to somebody too. And I have my own and my little favorite ones there. Actually, my, one of my favorite, two of my favorite ones. One's white pine. It's more like a noggin. My first one looks like hell, but good capacity. I like it. And uh, another one I have is uh, cottonwood, believe it or not. Decent capacity, and I like it, and I use that a lot. You know, and I have a couple other ones. One had a crack in it, but it's still good. But I um, have other stuff over there. The Norway maple one, man, uh, I, I had a tough time digging that, but smooth. It came out nice, but capacity's not uh, real good. But I'm happy with this one. This is not bad, man. <clears throat> now, if you buy stuff on eBay, different places, uh, you know, it's hard to find good stuff made in the United States. Um, even if you buy it somewhere else, not on TV, 
come from China anyways. But the uh, shipping is, uh, it was very timely. Uh, I think this is uh, another maker. Even Uberleben is made in China. 12 month capacity one, which is excellent. And uh, there's another one here. A little darker color. Different style. Has a, uh, looks like, looks like a leather uh, tie on there. A little hook handle. Uh, which one I like? They're both, both pretty good. The capacity, I think the capacity is slightly less. Maybe this might be six ounces. It's hard to tell. Hmm, I don't know. Let's see. I have a ruler here also. Uh, oh, but it's, it's quite beautiful. Yeah, kind of a more of a satin finish, which I like. It looks like I probably oil it up nice. <clears throat> I, um, I like the hook. Very nice for coffee, tea, whatever, whiskey, whatever you want to. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, it's kind of cool. Hmm. Two different styles. This one's all flat across the bottom. This one's slightly different. Um, I like them both. But, uh, yeah, pretty cool. I already have one. <clears throat> I got another one from them, and I, I like the capacities more. Like this one, I don't know how many holes. Oh, has, that one has two holes in it. <clears throat> the one I got, I put my mark on it. And uh, I may keep that for myself. These I may uh, give to someone, family or friends, or when we get together at an event. Yeah, so, put my glasses on here. That's this, I got I got some ponchos from them. Ripstop, very good quality. Um, a bunch of other stuff and it worked out really well shipping was good too let's see the uh, about three and a quarter inches maybe uh yeah <coughs> this one doesn't have the metric on it it's hard to tell Inside diameter is about three and a quarter. Almost the same here, but I think the width across maybe three and a quarter, three and a half. I don't know. Let's see this one. Three and eight, slightly smaller. Let's see the. I don't know if I could do this here. The only way to test it is to fill it so many ounces, but I think this one might be a little more. Let's see. Yeah. <clears throat> this one's a little deeper. So this will hold eight ounces. Pretty cool. <clears throat> this one I would say more like six, but it's uh, perfectly fine for your coffee or tea, camping. Nice hang on it. Very, very nice. <clears throat> I like it a lot. Like I kind of like the looks of this one and the nice smooth finish. You can oil that up or whatever. To give it to someone who really appreciates it and likes it and understands 
you know, you give the cooks to someone. I'm not gonna put it on a trade blanket. And uh, this one's nice too, but I would say this is kind of a little more traditional, but uh, this one's perfectly fine too. It's a real nice capacity too. Might even be able to put a little beer in there too. My Uber leaving is 12 ounces and I gave that to my son. I, I used it for two years. But, uh, so that's just a little opening there. And uh, I got a lot of other stuff. Uh, maybe sometime I'll show you, I don't know. I got it all spread out. But uh, sleeping pads, um, ponchos, some uh, challenge coins. Um, and they don't advertise that it's gold or it's, or it's you know, just metal alloy or whatever, but pretty nice. And uh, I got a robe for the DMS. And uh, I got like a nice cloak and that works fine also. Um, I got some uh, leggings, fur leggings. Fall for uh, fall for leggings, uh, nice though. They're very nice, but a bunch of stuff. So I'm, I've been very happy with it. These, you know, these are very beautiful. Uh, I like this. Very nice. Cool. Yeah. So, anyways, got the tea bags. I'll be using these. Maybe put some stuff in them tonight. <clears throat> yeah, they look very like a natural, unbleached material here, which is great. Let me just, uh, let's just open one up. I'm a big teetotaler. I, yeah, but in the morning, I like my coffee. Yep. Good cup of coffee. It's a pretty good. Good enough. Yep, and then you just uh, pull them like that. You're good to go, man. That's what we'll do. So, pretty happy with it, man. So, tea moves been pretty good. So, uh, <clears throat> some people don't like it. Why? Well, you know, I can't, I can't buy everything American. Um, I buy on eBay often because. They're American handlers, you know, even though if the goods are Chinese or something. But uh, I've been buying some like little copper tokens and actual copper rounds for an event. Like we have an event, so I bought some buffalo rounds and uh, from someone that state nearby. And uh, those are all made in the United States. And uh, as far as I know, yeah, they are. And... Uh, like Liberty Copper makes a lot. I don't know who else makes them, but uh, DB Metals, I know, sells them. And Loon Trading. But uh, those are all made in the United States, and uh, which are kind of cool. But some of these items, you know, even Uber Lieben, you know, it's, a lot of it's made in China and stuff. Anyways, but this is just pretty cool. Very cool. Uh, nice quality. Very well made. Both of them. Just, I... Let's see, this has more of a natural finish. I, I, I like that, but the capacity is just a couple more ounces on this one, which is nice. But uh, this is fine also. Beautiful. And my, my, my cooks, is, uh, I think you've seen them in some of the pictures. Um, you know, I work on them. They're handmade. They're, you know, tough. I, I just can't get that thin, you know, like Paul Woodcraft over in the... UK, the guy makes beautiful stuff, and his students. And um, I may have to get a tool, or my tools aren't really sharp, but some of the wood I have here is like cast iron, man. Damn, it's tough. <clears throat> but uh, I have a, a mount, like a mountain man camp out uh, one, and I, I roughed out my cooksa. My friend suggested, oh, maybe you can burn it out. You know, like some of these marine schools and stuff, they teach it. If you're out in the woods and stuff, you got to make your own bow and stuff. You just burn, burn into it. Might give it. A, I might give it a try, and uh, see how the burning works out. 
just while we're hanging around, we got fires going all the time. So just keep putting it in, scrape, put it in, scrape, whatever. Do whatever we got to do. But anyway, so <clears throat> that's what we got. Cool. The strikers are very cool also. Very happy with that. Nice. This, uh, I'll check this out with my son. I could trade it. It might hold, I, you know, I'm getting older. I got to give some of this stuff away, especially to my family and grandson. And, uh, this is cool. Nice deal. So, team will opening. It's good. I'm doing a lot of jaw jacking, but, uh, don't mind the table. It's kind of messy. I'm, I'm getting things together. I got a little camp out at my club this weekend. Uh, <clears throat> some gifts, some Swedish uh, butter knives that I made. Right there. Another one here. This one has the mark on it, too. Another one here. This one I think is cherry. This one I think is pine. Food grade, uh, like chalk paint. Uh, and then I got this act, Timu, actually, too. It's like a, uh, the guy who was getting this. <clears throat> and then I eat, he cooks all night. We do a lot of cooking and stuff. So he could pick his little meat up and make the sandwiches and stuff. But I got this there, too. I saw that. So that's kind of cool. You know, I got that. Put that in there. And then I have a, uh, a little copper, uh, very special commemorative coin. It's a uh, Little Rock 9, something like that. Can't find it anywhere. I looked it up to see if we could get more of what it is. The whole bit's copper round is what it is. Like a commemorative thing. Uh, it was a Little Rock 9, uh, 9 in 1957. It's a whole big story on that. And uh, pretty interesting. So, uh... uh My friend would be interested in that. I think you might like that. And I'll put it in here. But, uh, so I'll leave it out here. But, uh, all right. So I'm just doing a little jaw jack in what's going on. So, uh, peace, freedom, keep your eyes to the sky. Always be prepared. But don't worry. Keep, let God take care of things. These are said and done. Sometimes, you, yeah, you worry a little bit sometimes, but, you know, things will be all right. We'll uh, make it through. So, take care.